and welcome to the fifth video. Um, this video, just as a warning, this video is going to be quite hard to follow. This video could potentially be very boring and this video will likely be of no use to uh, quite a lot of people, I would imagine. Um, <laughs> that said, some people may need to change the animator. They may need to add, uh, add animations or add uh, certain features. In which case, there's a slim chance that this video may prove of some use to those people. And so, for that reason, I'm going to go through and try and explain how I've set up the animator for my character control. Okay. <laughs> Good luck following this. So, to start off with, the uh, the default animations are contained within the Idols Blend Tree. Double click it to open the Idols Blend Tree. If you press forward, then this will transition to the forwards blend tree. If you click backwards, this will transition to the backwards blend tree. Now, the jumps, there are strafe jumps, which will work when uh, the right mouse button is pressed, and they are connected to the forwards movement, to the idle movement, and the backwards movement. Now when the right mouse button isn't pressed, we will be doing arc jumps. This is connected to the idles, the forwards, the backwards. This fall node here is connected to pretty much, I think, every state because uh, I've basically made it so um, we could quite easily move to this state from any, any motion just in case the character falls at any point. Um, if we feed into the shortfall, this will then transition to a land, which will only go into the forward motion. Uh, but that will quickly feed into what any state, any other state, depending on what the character is doing. So it will loop through like that. Now, <laughs> like I say, good luck with following this. I'm going to try and be as clear as possible. I'm going to look at these blend trees. So, idols. We will be in this state as default, when the character isn't moving forwards or backwards, we will be in this state. We go to the first node. This first node will be checking if we are strafing, so if we have the right mouse button pressed. If we are strafing, we'll go into this node. If we aren't, we'll go into this static node. So, we're standing still, and we've got the right, right mouse, uh, we don't have the right mouse button pressed, so we are in the static mode. When we're in this node, uh, it's checking for the rotational speed of the character, the rotation per second. If that is zero, then the character is doing absolutely nothing, then we will move to this stationary node, named stationary. Now, this node will play one of two different idles, depending on how long the character has been idling for. Um, if the character has just started idling, if the user's pressing... Uh, has no input, then we'll be play, playing idle 1. If the character has been idling for 12 seconds, then a float called super idle will go to 1 and the character will start playing super idle. Now that's just a secondary idle animation. I say 12 seconds, that's the default. Um, that can be changed in, uh, in the character controller script. Now, if the character does start rotating, by pressing A and D in this case, then we will start to get a rotation speed. So jumping back to here where it looked at rotation speed, um, if we have any rotation speed, we will blend from the stationary to the turning node. This turning node looks at direction. The direction is linked to um, the get axis horizontal, so it will be either minus one or plus one, and uh, it will control one of two animations for turning to the right or turning to the left. Okay, back to the start. Let's go into the strafe branch. So we have our right mouse button pressed. We go into the strafe node. This first strafe, strafe node here looks for run. So are we uh, pressing the, the run key? If we are, we go to strafe run. If we're not, we go to strafe walk. Now, we've got the right, right mouse button pressed, but no run. We're in strafe walk, and this looks for a direction, which again is based on 
get access horizontal. So that can be minus 1, 0 or plus 1. If it is um, minus 1, then we will go into a walk sideways strafe. If it's plus 1, we will go into a walk sideways strafe in the opposite direction. And if it's 0, that means that the character, um, the player isn't pressing forward, so we're here. They are pressing the strafe button, they're pressing the right mouse button, but they're not doing anything else, they're just sitting there with that right, right mouse button pressed. Um, we will go, we'll still be potentially in an idle state, so we go to this idle slash rotation state. Now, the same as here, this checks for rotation speed. And if we aren't rotating at all, then we'll be pressing. We will be uh, playing an idle. If we're here, then um, we are in strafe mode. So strafe mode also works as a camera look mode. So the, char the character will be standing still, but you can be looking around using the mouse. If you look to the right or left uh, with the mouse, then a value called mouse x will be changed from 0 to minus 1 to plus 1. So depending on if you move the uh, the mouse to the right, then this would go plus 1 and we will shuffle turn to the right. If it goes to the left, we'll go minus 1 and you'll shuffle turn to the left. Now I'm not sure if I quite got the plus 1 and minus, wrong, uh, minus 1 uh, correct there, but that will basically that is basically how these two shuffles work. So as you turn around, using the camera look, your, your character will shuffle in that direction. <laughs> I hope that's clear enough. Um, let's go back. So we are strafing and we are running. Now this is based on direction and get uh, axis horizontal. Um, so if we are positive, we will run side strafe. If we're negative, we will run side strafe in the opposite direction. And if we have no direction or key, then we will uh, then we are idling. That basically means the character is uh, the player is sitting there. They have their right mouse button pressed. They have their shift key pressed, but they haven't given it any direction forwards or sideways. So the character really should just be standing there idling, which is what he does. Okay, let's go back into the forwards controls. Now these are a little bit simpler, thankfully. Um, so the character has pressed forward, the, sorry, the player has pressed forward. Um, we've moved to this state, and the first blend tree is, um, is looking to see if we are strafing or not. So if we're strafing, we'll go into this branch, and if we are not strafing, we'll go into this branch. So we'll do the simple branch first. The character is, uh, the player is moving forward, but not strafing. Uh, this here checks for uh, for a run and walk and quite simply if we are um, running we'll go into a run forward animation and if we're walking we'll go into a walk forward animation. Now all the directional turn controls here aren't present because when you're in this mode the uh, the turning is actually based on uh, <laughs> basically based on the camera, the, the, the character will be linked to the camera so we'll be walking forward, we'll, we'll only ever be playing a walk forward animation but we will be turning basically by the camera where the camera points. Um, I think that's about as simply as I as I can explain that. Um, okay, so we're strafing. If we if we are strafing, we're going to this branch. This first one is checking if we are running or walking. So runs, walks. If we are walking, then that means the character is the player is pressing forward. They have the right mouse button uh, held and this checks for direction so if they this again uses the get axis horizontal if it's positive we will um, walk forward but at a diagonal and we'll play the strafe animation so to get here the player has to be um, walking forward not running forward holding the right mouse button and also being pre pressing in this case A or D and they will walk in a di diagonal now, if the player isn't pressing either uh, A or D, or any of the um, directional axes, then we will simply be walking forward. 
and if they press the opposite one, we will be walking diagonally in the opposite direction. Um, same thing with the runs, except you've got the run run key depressed, so we'll be running diagonally either direction or running forward. <laughs> I genuinely hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so backwards is the same deal, except to get into this state, this speed um, float will be minus one, so we'll be so we'll move here, and then everything is the same as the forward state. And um, yeah, that's that's probably that's probably it. Um, <laughs> all these all the jumps are simply triggered by uh, what state we were in, and um, they will play the appropriate jump that's needed. Uh, okay, I could go through all the parameters, but um, I think I think that's best left. If anyone needs to know any of these parameters, they can get in, get in contact with me and I'll try and help with support. Okay, thank you for watching. If anyone managed to make it through this video, and if anyone understood it, then uh, congratulations. Bye.